Hi, this is Liz with A Kid Fixer. Today we're going to be discussing how to replace a hard drive and install Windows 10 on your HP. If you're looking for just the portion on installing Windows 10, skip to minute 4. So first remove your battery and make sure that your laptop is unplugged and then you're going to start removing the screws which I'm going to speed up for you because it's kind of a boring part of the video. And you're going to go ahead and take all the screws off your bottom of your computer or sometimes there is an easy access panel if you find that good for you. Also if you find this video in any way helpful please uh, like and share. And uh, th so this is as a HP certified technician is how I would go about replacing the hard drive. So take all the screws off the bottom in this particular model of HP there's some screws hidden under the feet so I'm going to go ahead and remove those so I can gain access to the inside uh, now to do this repair it is good to have a screwdriver and a pry tool uh, also your screwdriver if you find that it's not magnetized uh, there's actually an easy fix for that you can leave it on a strong magnet for about 20 minutes to half an hour and then it should be magnetized. You can also leave it overnight if you really want it strong. Alright, so I'm going to remove the DVD. Now I'm going to rotate it. And I'm going to go ahead and pry uh, the case. There's a little seam right there and I'm going to go ahead and put that pry tool in it and pry the bottom case and the palm rest apart. Being careful as I remove it. Okay, so one thing to note is that the motherboard, as you see I removed the bottom case and the motherboard was attached to the palm rest. Now occasionally you will actually be prying the palm rest off and the motherboard will be attached to the bottom case. Uh, not the case with this one, this one is kind of a common way it's done with it attached to the palm rest. Okay, now this is what your hard drive looks like. I'm going to unscrew it from the uh, palm rest and then I'm going to slide it away from the port once I have it off then I'm going to remove the hard drive caddy sometimes uh, this m particular one only has two screws attaching it to the hard drive sometimes it has four occasionally it would just have some sort of rubber holder uh, but this is a very common uh, hard drive caddy so I remove all the screws and remove that metal from the hard drive. And this is what your metal, I'm uh, sorry, not your metal, this is what your hard drive looks like. The size of this is 1.8 and this is a SATA connection. Uh, another popular size is 2.5. So if you find your hard drive's a little chunkier than this, then it's probably a 2.5. But if you aren't quite sure what kind of hard drive goes in your HP, you can always check your manufacturer site and look it up by your model. Your model, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and put the cat, a caddy back on. The, uh, Putting it with making sure the orientation of the hard drive is the same. And once again, uh, you can always look it up by the model on the manufacturer's website, on HP's website, and you look it up by the model number, which is usually is located on the bottom of your computer, sometimes under the battery or just on the on the underneath when you look. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my screws back on. And I'm going to gently insert this back into the port like so and then I'm going to screw it back into position so that it won't move alright now let's back out of this frame and I'm going to go ahead and I am going to reassemble my laptop which I'm not going to show you how because you already saw, saw how I disassembled it all right, now how to install Windows 10. You're going to need a bootable USB. We have a video down below from, on how to do it from the Microsoft site, and it is free and easy. So go ahead and follow that link if you don't have a bootable USB. All right, first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your bootable USB, and you're going to install it into your HP. And then you're going to hit power. And you're immediately going to start tapping on F9. Once again, that's F9 to get to your boot menu what your boot menu looks like. You're going to select your U e USB. Uh, if you find it doesn't show up, maybe try a different port. It's going to start up like this and it's going to do a bunch of stuff that looks like this before you get to the page you need. At this point you're going to take your mouse and you're going to hit the next button. You're going to hit install now. You're going to see a lot of stuff like this. Setup is starting. You'll have to wait. It's okay. 
Then you're going to I accept the license and terms. You're going to hit next. Then hit custom. Then go ahead and delete all these partitions. Select one, hit delete. Sometimes there's a lot, don't worry. Go ahead and just delete them all. And then when it says unallocated space, like so, then you can hit next and it will start to install. As a shout out, if you run into any snags, your installation for any way reason doesn't work, we have a video on how to troubleshoot installation problems. Okay, so I fast forwarded to the end screen. Go ahead and hit restart now. You're going to get a bunch of these starting services, getting device ready, stuff like that. But once again, that video link for if you have any problems with it not completing, not working properly, that's in the description down below. Okay, so this means my installation is done after all that waiting time. You're going to hit yes. And then you're going to select your keyboard. I'm going to skip because I don't need a second keyboard. So now we're just going through different options. This is where you connect to a network. I'm not going to bother, but if you wanted to, you would go ahead, select your network, hit connect, and type in your password. I'm going to write, I don't have internet. That way I'm not stuck putting, attaching my Microsoft account. This is a behind the scenes way of doing it, behind back doorway, I mean. Hit continue with limited setup. And then boom, I don't need to attach a Microsoft email account. Then I can just name my PC whatever I want like a normal person and hit next. I type in Dell, next, I'm not going to do a password because I'm going to sell this computer. Uh, do more, I'm just going to hit no. I am going to get help from the digital, I'm going to hit accept, digital assistant. And then accept once again because I'm okay with all these privacy settings. And then I am done. So there's going to be some lag time in between some of these things, but you're okay. Anyway, that's how you install Solid State Drive and Windows 10. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or some great ideas for some videos, leave them down below and one of our certified technicians will respond as quickly as possible. Anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.